A radical cystectomy uh, is an operation to performed uh, to remove the bladder uh, along with the pelvic lymph nodes uh, and then to create a urinary diversion to create an alternate route up for urine passage in uh, patients who have muscle invasive or otherwise aggressive bladder cancer. Well, radical cystectomy uh, and urinary diversion for bladder cancer is one of the most complex and uh, operations that, that, um, that we perform uh, with uh, uh, high rates of, of complications, uh, typically about 50%, uh, along with a prolonged length of stay, which might be uh, seven or eight days on average. I'm on average, this surgery is five, six uh, hours or, or even longer. Uh, and um, uh, it involves multiple body compartments, removing the, the, the bladder and, and the prostate in men from deep in the pelvis uh, to uh, working with, uh, with the small bowels to basically uh, divide them and take a portion to create the urinary diversion and then put the bowels back together. The bowels are, are an important aspect of, of, of what uh, keeps patients in hospital, can result in complications, uh, and is, um, is also is what results in a lot of the symptoms that they have postoperatively. So a lot of what these measures do is try to optimize bowel function. What we're doing here at Brigham and Women's Hospital uh, is implementing an enhanced uh, recovery after surgery protocol for all our patients undergoing radical cystectomy. Uh, what we have found uh, in the patients who have had radical cystectomies on this protocol is a shorter length of stay. Uh, the length of stay now is between four and five days as opposed to seven or eight days. And what we do uh, uh, can be broken down into what happens preoperatively, uh, operatively, and postoperatively. From a preoperative perspective, some of the key differences is that we no longer do a, a bowel preparation ahead of time. We found that that dehydrated patients and re resulted in some electrolyte abnormalities. Uh, we also uh, provide them with a high energy carbohydrate drink that they take about two to three hours before surgery, which could provide some additional energy for, uh, for getting through the, the course of the day. Uh, and then the key aspects during the operation uh, are multi modal uh, pain management to minimize the use of narcotics which can slow the bowel down and, and create an, um, an ileus or um, basically a bowel that's slow to recover after surgery. Uh, it's minimizing fluids during the operation to reduce the um, uh, fluid overload. And then for in the post-operative setting, uh, the key aspects are early ambulation and, and we want to get you up walking frequently. Uh, and then uh, it's earlier feeding as opposed to not feeding you for four or five days until you, you started passing gas or having bowel movements, we gave you clear fluids on day one and then a regular diet on day two, and we found that that uh, can actually maintain your, your, your bowel and bodily uh, functions and, and uh, result in a quicker return home and, and what we hope will be less complications. Patients are actually uh, very happy with the protocol because a lot of the protocol uh, involves patient engagement. We talk to them in the preoperative setting in the clinic and we say this is the surgery that you're having and you're going to be on the enhanced recovery protocol with goals of, uh, of uh, getting you back to your, your, your full function as, uh, as soon as possible. What it does is it helps standardize the process so all the key players uh, throughout uh, the care of the patient from the nurses to the residents to the uh, anesthesiologists and the surgeons and the, and the physician assistants are all uh, on board with what needs to happen for, the, for that patient so that uh, they recover as quickly as possible and with uh, uh, as few uh, issues as possible. We're currently at Brigham and Women's Hospital uh, launching an initiative uh, of perioperative care management using these enhanced recovery protocols for radical cystectomies and colorectal surgery uh, and in addition to that looking at uh, aspects of uh, sarcoma surgery or plastic surgery or other surgical specialties that might also benefit from, uh, from some of these evidence-based aspects of these enhanced recovery protocols so that all patients may benefit.